What a great sound it is. This is the sound of the new Cayenne Coupe. Do you hear the sports exhaust pipe? This is how a true Porsche is supposed to sound. The Coupe looks much more progressive and athletic than the Cayenne. Although the Cayenne can stand up for itself, of course. Its development is based on the third generation of the Cayenne, which already looks very progressive. The Coupe is longer, flatter and almost two centimeters wider at the rear. These minimal changes have a big effect. The Coupe simply looks more dynamic. It wants to leap forward. You can really feel that. It just really, really looks fast. Even at first glance, it's obvious that this is a real Porsche. The lines are classic, traditional, but at the same time forward thinking. The roof line drops off very quickly to the rear and shouts out dynamism, power and speed. This emotional appearance positions the coupe as the sportiest model in this segment. This effect is underlined by the fixed roof spoiler, which strengthens the coupe-like silhouette even more. The roof edge is two centimeters lower than the Cayenne, which reduces the angle of the A-pillar, allowing for a flatter windscreen. The rear fenders and doors are wider, making the coupe look more sturdy and more muscular. To keep the rear end so sexy and to give the car a great handling, the development department came up with an extra spoiler. So above 90 kilometers an hour, the adaptive rear spoiler extends and provides even more downfalls on the rear axle. Exactly. Of course, a Porsche's performance has to be excellent. And in this department, the Cayenne Coupe has a whole lot to offer. Two powerful engines are available at market launch. A three-liter, six-cylinder turbo engine with 340 horsepower and a maximum torque of 450 Newton meters. And the top model, the Turbo Coupe, has a four-liter V8 twin-turbocharger, 550 horsepower, 770 Newton meters, and goes from zero to 100 in 3.9 seconds with a top speed of a staggering 286 kilometers an hour. Awesome. As soon as I get into the car, I immediately feel at home. The carbon fiber elements are really cool. The Alcantara accent give it a unique and, and, and classy feel. The seating position is perfect, exactly as I want it. The Cayenne Coupe offers four people plenty of space. In the back, the passengers sit three centimeters lower than in the Cayenne, and this is a plus for headroom. The rear seating with two individual seats can be replaced by a comfort format. I love the panoramic fixed glass sunroof, which by the way is standard. 2.16 square meters with an integrated roller blind. This carbon fiber roof, similar to the one of the GT3 RS, is available as an option, enhancing the sports car look. The carbon fiber roof is one of three lightweight sport packages. Now just as I'm used to from Porsche, all the functions are right where I need them. It all works together. I am connected to the car, and the car, of course, is connected to the internet. Top quality, driver-oriented, and all designed from a driver's point of view. A real sports car, an SUV, and an exclusive coupe. And all this in one car for all those who require something special. That's it from me. If you want more information about the Cayenne Coupe, check out newsroom.porsche.com. In terms of crossovers, the Porsche Cayenne Turbo is relatively sporty in its own right. The 541 horsepower crossover can sprint to 60 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds with the Sport Chrono package and on to a top speed of 177 miles per hour. That's more than enough performance for the average crossover buyer. Two engine options are available at launch. 
a turbocharged 3.0 liter six cylinder and a twin turbo 4.0 liter V8. The former engine produces 335 horsepower and 335 foot pounds of torque. A sprint to 60 miles per hour takes 6.0 seconds with this engine, or 5.9 seconds with the same engine and the Sport Chrono package. The Cayenne Coupe Turbo's more powerful V8 belts out a sizable 541 horsepower and 567 foot pounds of torque. With that engine, it takes the crossover coupe just 3.9 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour and gives it a top speed of 177 miles per hour. The new Porsche Cayenne Coupe hits dealers this May. Buyers can place this order right now. In Germany, the base Cayenne Coupe starts at 83,711 euros and the Cayenne Coupe Turbo starts at 146,662 euros. In the US, the Cayenne Coupe starts at $73,500 and the Turbo model starts at $130,500.